Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. Back in episode number four, I think, when we talked about NEVs, we referenced a technology that we uh, have here at Zeiss called DotScan. Uh, a few of you have reached out to us to explain a little bit about what that is. So today, we're going to go a little deeper into the underlying technology of DotScan. So let's go ahead and have a look. So, it's actually kind of a cool way to do uh, non-contact measuring um, uh, in, Z, in, in Z height. So uh, what we do is we take a light source and we send it down to a series of optics. This, this optics takes uh, the light and divides it into the color spectrums. Now uh, it pushes all of these colors down to the surface of your workpiece and um, Basically, there's a perfect focal length for each color wavelength. So, for example, you see here, the perfect the wavelength here for this blue is nowhere near the surface, and red, it's way below the surface, but for here, for this uh, example, the green is perfect. So when we go to a spectrometer and read this, pretend this is my spectrometer over here, uh, and you pull the spectrum across from red to green to blue, we see that the signal coming back from this is... Uh, clearly in this green so we know that this distance here is perfect in the spectrum of green. This uh, method of discerning distance using colors uh, is different from other ways of doing it uh, like time of flight which takes time to do. Uh, because we only return uh, a color back it can happen almost instantaneously and this speed allows us the opportunity to um, do things that we couldn't do before. Uh, for example, uh, we can do uh, fourth axis uh, measurement on a rotary table. So uh, this is only possible because literally the Z distance between the sensor and the workpiece is instantaneous. So uh, before we couldn't do non-contact fourth axis uh, measurement and now we can. Uh, another thing that we can do is uh, non-constrained scanning. Uh, what does that mean? That means we don't. Uh, we can scan uh, the path or, or the profile of any part, not knowing what the part is. Uh, we don't have to have a predefined path for it. We can just say start here, end here, whatever happens in between. Just take a, a measurement for. These are two different. Uh, because we employ this type of technology for this non-contact uh, measurement scanning, um, we can do things like that. So. Um, Let's look at this in practice uh, on an Owen spec. Okay, now that we've seen that, uh, let's talk about something we talked about uh, also in the uh, uh, NEV video blog, and that's measuring through transparent uh, material. So uh, again, here's my terribly rough draft of uh, what that looks like, but we have the sensor again that's uh, pushing out uh, uh, light and then reading back the color spectrum, but here we have this transparent piece, right? So um, if you look through the signal again, uh, the light will uh, get reflected back from the top surface, but it'll actually reflect, refract through the surface and return a second signal that is maybe a little less intense as the original signal, but it will be uh, definitely noticeable. Uh, so what will happen is the first peak, the highest peak, is the top surface or the surface uh, closest to the sensor. And uh, the, less, uh, the lesser of the two peaks, uh, although it is a peak, uh, will be the bottom of the, um, of the material. Uh, when you compare the two, then you have a, a thickness. So that is uh, basically how, again, because we're using a technology like reading out uh, colors, uh, we can uh, use that to our advantage and get material thickness. <laughs> All 
All right, y'all, that was a little bit about the technology. Of course, what we do here at Zeiss is we take all of that and package it into this one sensor. Uh, and not only a sensor that uh, can be used on a CMM or an O-Inspect, but one that can actually go across uh, platforms. So you can buy uh, this technology from us. If you have an O-Inspect, you can plop this one sensor on the O-Inspect and move it to your CMM as well. So uh, not only did we take this technology and utilize it, but we utilized it in a way that was kind of helpful for you uh, out there to use and deploy in, uh, in your facility. So that was DotScan and kind of what makes it special. And uh, I will thank you now for joining us. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next Thursday where we'll look at something else pretty cool. See you.